Dear Dear Diary, so today I will be talking about my Lush perfumes. I have a very big, I have been a very big fan of Lush. I used to be unable to get um, some Lush perfumes from Lush Malaysia, so I resorted to buying it from overseas. So, but that didn't stop me from loving Lush. You know, um, I'm just very glad that Lush. Malaysia, Lush Malaysia is now growing and expanding. Hopefully, they will bring more of their perfumes from foreigns, from London, all this exclusive line. Hopefully, it will be brought to the Malaysia store so that more and more people can appreciate it. So, first of all, when I talk about Lush perfumes, I want people to know that when you buy a Lush perfume, you cannot carry the mindset of using a designer perfume to enjoy Lush perfumes because, for me personally, it Lush perfume has a way of blending with essential oil that makes it very different from designer perfumes. And to be honest, it to be honest, it is already very different from the Body Shop, although both are you know almost doing the same kind of. Marketing strategy, but I think in perfumery, Lush has Lush is the winner. <laughs> Lush is the winner. I, for me personally, it can't compete with other brands. Like I don't want to mention. It's just, it's just, it's just the best. <laughs> so, as an avid essential oil person, I am also an essential oil. Enthusiasts, I used to make my own perfume oil blend, so I feel that this Lush perfume actually brings me to the time of my life that essential oil has really played a very important part in my life, and yeah, it's like you know, Lush for me personally, it's like music, you know. Uh, once you have learned a musical instrument, you can't unlearn that. Although you can't be playing piano all the time, but you still can remember the notes, the theory of music, how you should put your hands on the keyboard, and how the fingering of this of this piece of music should go. It would be it would be already in your mind. So when I, when it comes to Lush perfumes. It is already in my heart that I like essential oils so much. So, of course, straight away, Lush perfumes just clicks with me right away. I can use Lush perfumes only for seven days straight in a week without, without you know, without alternating with other designer perfumes, nor niche perfumes. It just has this very special place in my heart. So now I'm going to talk about three perfumes first. The first perfume that I would like to talk about is the very classic Vanilla Re. So this is a perfume that I got from Korea, so I can't read the whatever oil listed here. But Vanilla Re is already very different from Vanilla from the Body Shop. The Body Shop Vanilla is very sweet. It's almost like a walking vanilla ice cream. But Vanilla Re is different. So vanilla Re, for me, I can definitely get that essential oil, vanilla essential oil from here. I have a six-year-old vanilla essential oil and it cost me a lot of money. And that vanilla essential oil has this florally almost, it's not like a total foodie gourmand kind of sweetness. It has like a floral aspect to it. And so this vanilla essential oil scent profile this vanilla is not all gourmand or foodie, no. It's quite, it's sweet in a floral way actually. And then other than the vanilla essential oil, there's a tiny touch of benzoin, just a tiny, just a, just a tiny touch, not much. I don't know, I don't know if there's any citrusiness here, but sometimes I do get some citrusy, like not the lemon oil, but almost tangerine or orange, -y, orange oil. And as it dries down, it will lose all the depth of this benzoin or even the lemon or the mandarin orange citrusiness. 
and it will just develop and rise down into this milky very milky floral vanilla scent and the next one that I will talk about is what would love do this is a very good one it's a very outstanding blend and it's a very special blend why would I say so because I get a huge dose of lemongrass oil and also tangerine yes there is a very huge dose of mandarin orange lemongrass that kind of citrusiness here and together with that there is it is blended with this benzoin this benzoin is not like vanilla it has more depth and it can be a little bit uh, sweeter than the vanilla -ry, not in a floral way but it has almost like a common aspect to it almost caramel caramelly but it's not like the designer sweet scent you know and to make the whole thing very special a lavender oil is added to it without the lavender oddness to you know to kind of like break the boring <laughs> Uh, combination of just citrus and benzoin it would be a very boring scent but with the lavender added here I can actually sm smell the lavender in the beginning when I first spray it when I first got the bottle and as I slowly uses it as I slowly use it down to that to this level I slowly get more of that lemongrass or mandarin tangerine oil rather than the lavender but it's a very very outstanding blend this lavender is just there to you know to to not make the whole thing boring it kind of gets it kind of it can be a little bit a little bit um, odd at times you know for pe for some people who may think that lavender oil is too masculine or they just cannot accept it in the perfume but here without the lavender this would not be what would love to <laughs> but with the lavender it adds so much to it and in and it makes the story whole it makes this perfume whole so it's another one that I highly recommend don't be afraid to give it to give what would love to a try um, it's not masculine it's just that you know that extra kick of lavender is just very tasty blended together with the um, lemongrass tangerine and also this beautiful benzoin the third one that I want to talk about today would be a thousand kisses deep thousand kisses deep this is the one that I that I've waited for a very long time and as soon I even called I even emailed the uh, Lush Malaysia and see if they are bringing in this one into their store and at first they didn't and you know I waited and waited and waited at last when they had it I asked them if they could have like a few bottles to be you know to be <laughs> you know to be arranged to be brought into Malaysia because Singapore already has carried this but not Malaysia so after a week or so after months or so I can't remember how long after that I got an email and then they say that what you asked for is already here why not you make an order now because we have a limited bottle of it so I immediately click and check out so a thousand kisses deep a kiss is already deep how about a thousand kisses this is not the this is not like just vanilla sweetness this is not that at all this is osmanthus osmanthus like as in like apricot kind of like scent but this osmanthus flower this is very florally added with some some aspect of this apricot fruitiness not too much fruitiness but it's mainly florally and there is also some very lovely myrrh yes it's very resinous other than the osmanthus the myrrh the resinous placed together in tandem with this osmanthus but it's never the sticky stagnant um, resinous scent no it's not anything like that it's very bright still florally almost as if the flower the osmanthus flower is blooming and the scent is just carried by the wind it's as airy as that and to deepen everything it is added with this labdanum I would say that the labdanum actually solidifies 
this blend without making it too fruity or too florally it's just right in the middle and as I sniff very closely to my skin this perfume I do get some leather like texture it's not the smell of leather per se but it's more like the leathery texture it's very very special and so these are the three lush perfumes that I would like to share with you today uh, I think I'll share more about lush perfumes hopefully in the next entry diary entry if you have tried any lush scents do let me know what you think about them and I really recommend lush perfumes if you have never experienced that because they have so many ways of letting uh, a nosy person like me to enjoy their scents they don't they do not only have this EDP or perfume in spray they also have wash cards they have solid perfume if you don't want to spend big bucks on perfume and they have all this kind of uh, bubble bath mm, lotion in all kinds of scents that you can experience so that's all from me see you in the next one bye